What is up and welcome to another Loose Beats where our motto is chill out and make a beat. I'm Toby, aka Cushing from the TND channel. Make sure you check out everything we do. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different as always. We're going to be checking out some mixing and mastering plugins from Isotope. So we were lucky enough to have them uh, send us some things to review and uh, they've sent us all their new plugins and I'm really excited to use them because I use their stuff anyway, but I use their older plugins. So I'm excited to see these new versions. Um, and so just getting right into it, let's check out uh, what this song sounds like. We've got some vocals lined up here. We don't have any EQing or compression or anything on them. Uh, and let's just kind of hear how they're sounding so far. I can barely move, but my mind is pacing. If life's a race, I just hope I place it. Do it all for the chase, but don't know what we're chasing. All the troubles that we're facing. Why we're lacing our dreams, replacing our needs for trivialities, realities. Knocking at the doors, I'm a Jim Morrison, myself out of the situation with self destruction and inebriation like the classics do. That's the shit that got the rock star skill, yeah, you know what it is. The shit that makes the managers rich, the talent gets sick, and the families give up. Yeah. While so you can hear how that's going. Uh, it kind of sounds flat. We got a warm, nice recording, but uh, there's just nothing to it yet, you know. And so there's a couple of different ways to get started on this. Um, we're going to pull up Neutron 4 here. Um, and so if you already know what you're doing and you have a specific idea of what you want your, se your sound to be like, right, your tone on your voice, then you can just go through... And it gives you an equalizer right off the bat. You can go through, you can add compressors, uh, which there is uh, two, three inside. It seems like there's also a vintage compressor. Um, exciter, you got a gate, a sculptor, transient uh, shaper, and an unmask. Uh, so we've got a lot of different things we can do just from this uh, mixing bay here, this little plug-in bay. Um, but there is the assistant, which either if you don't know where to start or... Uh, because you don't know or you don't know where to start because it's a different sound or you want a little different tone you know you can always hop into the assistant mode here and we're gonna send it through and kind of see uh, what it wants to do with this so let's uh, let's pull up a new one so we can jump into it um, without resetting and keep what we had there so we're going to hop over. It's going to want you to play the audio. And you're going to start. It, it likes it if you play the loudest part, too. So um, you might want to start it a little bit down here. Like the classics, dude. That's the shit that got the rock star skill. Yeah, you know what it is. The shit that makes the managers rich. The talent gets sick and the families give up. And while the rest of us watch, they will start to give a fuck until the money stops. What a shocker. Okay, so just going back, it's it's got our basic ones. Um, it kind of just gives you everything to start with here. I can barely move, but my mind is pacing. And see, it's already a lot clearer. We're getting some clarity already from it. Um, a little more gain than I like. And again, my voice is one that's very froggy and raspy, and I do a lot of rap, a lot of lower range, uh, vocal range rap, so... Uh, I have to go in just for example, you know, of what we're going to have to do by the end of this. You can check out um, what I did on Neutron 3, uh, just on the EQs here. Um, uh, this one, for instance, that's our compressor there. Uh, but this is the old Neutron EQ. If you see how, I mean, this is overkill for sure. <coughs> but... To get my voice where I want it, I really go through and where a lot of people are drawing some broad strokes on these bells, I like to go and make very precise ones and leave those little spaces in between so it doesn't lose entire areas of the board. Um, so that by the end of me mixing these vocals, it's probably going to look something like that in our new Neutron 4. But um, 
let's just see what it started us out with. So, and it did find automatically that it was vocal. So there is one thing it goes through and, and can tell whether it's piano, guitar, drums, and uh, it tries to tone match that for you. And so uh, there's a lot of little extras you can do here. You can punch it up. You can change your attack here. Uh, it seems like there's a vocal tone area where you can go retro, tape, tube, warm, and kind of give it a different feeling. Like I'm going to try uh, a little bit of warm in there and maybe even turn down the tone and kind of see what that does to it. I just hope I place and do it all for the chase, but don't know what we're chasing. Or yeah. And so it's, it's already got a little bit more clarity to it, but uh, to go in and dive deep, you have to go over here to your bay and see what it's done already. I mean, it really lays everything out for you so you can get started working. It's not a robot to do all your work for you. It's just one to uh, get you started in the right direction. So with every different vocal and or instrument you put through it, it gives it a really specific change. So it goes through, there's a couple different things on this type of equalizer. Uh, one, if you compare it to a traditional EQ, like your Logic one, you only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, points on your graph here that you can put, right? Um, and that, and it kind of makes you, it forces you to use broad strokes. You saw how many I had on that other one. There's like 15 uh, points on it. So I think uh, right off the bat, just the fact that you can add an endless amount, you can just point right on it. They've got um, your bells, your high pass, low pass, your shelves, um, and uh, you can adjust them really easily. Their width here, um, something I always end up doing uh, especially just with rap vocals and stuff, I put a high pass and a low pass really tight, just like straight bar it up, which uh, isn't some people's preference, but uh, I end up using that just to cut off some of our high end where you get a lot of S's and F's, and then some of our low end where you get some booming bass you don't want in there. But uh, it's going to take adjusting. You know, I'm going to have to slide this thing back and forth for hours to get my vocals just right. That's no matter what you use. But this just saves you a little bit of time. You know, it helps you get started. Uh, another thing you can put on here is you see these with the little arrows. Uh, they're adaptive. So they um, basically you can choose whether it adapts up or down from your place and allows a little more room. Um and so that's a really interesting feature that isn't on a lot of EQs. Um, and then you've got their compressors. And so it's got your punch, your modern, and your vintage. I think it threw a vintage one on here, uh, which is different than the trial I did before. Um, you know, I prefer my attacks really low. I won't put it that low. I normally have them at zero. And then a uh, really low release as well. Uh, that's just how I prefer the compression to come in uh, my ratio I normally have a little bit higher in here um, I normally try to keep my makeup down uh, if I can um, we can also control the mix here which is nice so if you do want to add a little bit of compression but you don't want to uh, take away from some of the natural sound you got you can pull your mix down and you've got your threshold here uh, which of course it, it it does its own thing it does a, uh, it's trying to correct the best it can tell, but again, it's just giving you a place to start. And then your gain, I normally try to keep that down as well um, as to not add too much uh, to distort it. I can really move, but my mind is pacing. If life's a race, I just hope I place it. Do it all for the chase, but don't know what we're chasing. All the troubles that we're facing. While we're lacing our dreams, replacing our needs for trivialities, realities, knocking at the doors. I'm a Jim Morrison. You gotta be careful with the makeup. Self destruction and inebriation, like the classics do. That's the shit that got the rock star skill. Yeah, you know what it is. Yeah, so you gotta be careful with your makeup here. And again, I just downloaded this, so I'm just learning how everything is. This is a first glance at this so um you know i'm not sure 
where everything is and how to adjust it yet. Every compressor literally is different. It reacts different. And I'm going to have to get to know these to use them well. And it also threw a punch compressor on here. Um, so that's, you know, again, one you're going to have to go through it through an exciter. Um, on this high end, uh, you can make you can make points and decide different parts of the uh, of the frequency. So I can put one here and control my bass, mids, and highs separately. Whether I want them pushed or whether what kind of tone you can throw a trash tone on it, it looks like, um, which would be good for um, like bit crushing 808 stuff like that. Um, then of course you've got your kind of tone uh, pad here that you can move around. Um, and so it starts you off real nice and then you just got to go in and do the work, you know, like I would throw another equalizer in here, um, which, oh, I just have to use this one, I suppose. Oh, uh, well, I can add another one separately. I suppose that's how I'm going to have to do it. Um, you can add the Neutron 4 by itself, right, outside of this actual plugin. Um, and if you don't want to use everything in it, but... uh. I'm just gonna have to go through and uh, do some work here. I know these high shelves I normally don't like. I can barely move, but my mind is pacing. If life's a race, I just hope I place it. Do it all for the chase, but don't know what we're chasing. Or the yeah. troubles are and uh, to switch over is it takes a minute because again, I've got my all my automation set up for um, other compressors and other EQs. And so I can tell that it's coming in a little gainy and it's I'm pushing it too much right off the bat. If you can see my volume is almost all the way up. And if you look at my waveforms, they're also pretty big. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to come in and actually send it in pretty low and work on that automation uh, before I even get to this point. You know, it does, it takes micro editing. You really have to get in here and do the work no matter what, but this saves a lot of time because it kind of gives you a place to start, you know? And again, if you know what you're doing, you just come here and pop them on yourself and, and go ahead and get started. But this can fa save you a few drastic steps that you're going to need to do anyway. Um, and so it kind of just gets you to the point to where you can start working. And I also wanted to check uh, Neutron 3 on another thing before we left, because again, I've just started to learn this. Um, and I wanted to see how it reacted to something else. So let's say um, we got this elevation whirly. We've got a uh, guitar. Um, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get with uh, maybe a guitar here. What's that sound like? Now again, see, I've already got my volume smashed up here, my EQs on here, my delay, my reverb. And so a lot of this will be helpful when I start from scratch. I can use everything new, but these older songs, I'm going to have to go through and retool them to work them in. But um, let's see what it does to a guitar and a piano uh, just right off the bat and see. Let's leave everything on first and then see if we need to work a little more on it because uh, it might not like these other EQs. This may be taking out some things that it wants to keep in. We never know. So let's uh, let's do on our assistant and play the audio. Oh, nice! See, uh, automatically it finds that it's the guitar right here. Um, it can tell. Uh, I, you can even change it to to be an acoustic guitar specifically or a distorted. And so that's pretty nice that it just lines you up right there. Uh, and then we hop over and see what it did. And automatically, right, you tell how different it is. It's not just pumping out the same information. It's really, it, it works. It's treating the information and uh, seeing where you need boost. And it boosted us real low down here because... I put those EQs taking off that section so it thinks it needs to push it back. So it might be a good idea to leave uh, old things you have on and add it on top just to clarify and make it sound a little bit better. Or you can start from scratch and do all your work through there. You know, it can be used a couple different ways. But it can tell we needed this low end. It kept our mids pretty low, and then it bumped uh, the highs just a tad. 
And then our compressor gave us a decent ratio, a really late attack, which sometimes can be good on instruments over voice. Um, my voice, I like to a quick, quick attack and quick release to uh, not hold the compression so long. But uh, with a lot of instruments and stuff like that, that can be a little too punchy and you don't want it to take up your mix. So that's pretty cool that it found that by itself. And then, of course, on your compressors here, like I said, we got our punch, our vintage, and our modern. Got our threshold. So everything's pretty easy to use and laid out. And seems to always throw two compressors. Again, I don't know if you'll need it on everything, but it's nice to have up there anyway. Um, and that one did pretty nice. It found that guitar and, and really clarified it for us. And uh, yeah, sorry about the popping on this loading. My uh, I run so much on this computer and it's starting to get a little bogged down and I'll have to upgrade at some point. Um, that's that's just me that's just my computer and lastly let's throw it on a piano this whirly uh so it's an electric piano with uh it's got a lot on it already again it's something that i'm not sure how that's going to work out but um uh let's see let's add a different one here and see what it wants to do with this since there is so much on it already compression and eq and a ring shifter um, I'm not sure how it's going to react to it. That's something else that I'm going to have to learn along the way. But uh, let's throw an assistant on there and see what it wants to do to that piano. So again, uh, off the bat, it found that it's a piano, real nice. Um, I'm going to have to figure out about this tone matching. Um, you may be able to go in and give it a reference point or something. I'm not sure. Uh, and then we've, you know, we've got all our setup here. I like uh, tape, a tube. You know, maybe I'll tube it up a little bit more. I have a tube in my uh, electric keyboard, and I like that pushed, gainy sound, you know. Uh, and let's hop over and see what it did. Um, yeah, our EQs here it gave us a couple adaptive ones um, and then punched up on the end and then cut off our low end here. Uh, and pretty low ratio. It came out pretty decent. It did The threshold is crazy low on this one. Um, it must have found something that it didn't like. And it, it may be also this tone has a, uh, has a popping sound in its uh i guess it's the stereo delay that has this little popping noise yeah pop 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 and it's probably trying to cancel that out that is in the actual tone and it's supposed to be there um but it might try and it might be trying to tone that down a little bit which is nice so Yeah, it did boost our clarity slightly, but again, with this being ran through so much, uh, it's not. It's supposed to be distorted, and uh, I'll have to figure out how it reacts with things like that that are meant to be, uh, meant to be more clear or meant to be more distorted. You know, um, but it reacts really well to all these things. I'm excited about it so far, um, and I'll be doing more of these. You know, I'll uh, I'm gonna work getting to know them a little better. This was just our first glance uh, straight out of the box at Neutron 4. And um, I'll be doing a Ozone 10 soon. And we're going to check all this new uh, plugins out, check them out and see how they work. <clears throat> and together, you know, we get to know them together. And it's really cool to have some of these robots come and help save you some time. Uh, and so make sure to check, you know, fucking Isotope out if you haven't, if you're looking for plugins. And uh, make sure to check us out on Patreon. We have a lot of extra stuff. We have a, a Discord where we put up different stuff every month. We have extra podcasts. We have uh, extra music shows, a game show where we watch new music videos, all kinds of stuff. It's a lot of fun over there. Make sure to check that out. And make sure to check out Cushing, which is what I release my music under on Spotify, uh, Apple Music, everywhere you get music, including the Toby and Davey channel. So make sure to check out some new music I'm dropping. And lastly, check out Real Bird, which you can see I'm decked head to toe in 
fucking uh dripping in the sauce over here and make sure to check out uh everything we do you know it's a cult baby be a part of it we want you to be a part of it we're the coolest cult ever we love you and take care of you and really all we ask is for you to be creative with us and so i'm gonna go out here on this pre-mixed uh vocal which is i use neutron three on since i haven't uh, you know since i just upgraded today but it's starting to get there and i'm excited to use all this shit so love y'all check everything out I'll see you soon. Bye. I can barely move, but my mind is pacing. If life's a race, I just hope I place it. Do it all for the chase, but don't know what we're chasing. All the troubles that we're facing. Why we're lacing our dreams, replacing our needs with trivialities, realities. Knocking at the doors, I'm a Jim Morrison, myself out of the situation with self destruction and inebriation like the classics do. That's the shit that got the rock stars killed, yeah, you know what it is. The shit that makes the managers rich, the talent gets sick, and the families give up. And while the rest of us watch, they won't start to give a fuck until the money stops. What a shocker! What a shocker, I'm so surprised. Who would have thought a bunch of lies told a bunch of lies? Like, what a shocker. I'm so surprised that you think you're in disguise. What a shocker.